For more on our top stories and others, please visit our website. It's channelstv.com and on youtube.com forward slash channels web. You can also watch us on the go on your mobile device. Log on to m.channelstv.com or download the Channel TV app for Android, iOS and Windows phones from their respective stores. Having the Channel TV and Channel 24 app will give you news and updates. You also have the iPlus feature so you too can be part of the news. Just install the app, then tap and swipe to reveal the iWitness menu and follow the instructions to share those pictures, videos or news of happenings around you. The Edo State Government is determined to achieve total coverage during this year's immunization exercise. Governor Godwin Obaseki told a crowd at Ego local government area to always endeavor to complete the immunization schedule of their children. Hello. An interesting telephone conversation the governor of Edo State, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, engages a parent in on the need to complete their child's immunization schedule. This is Yabo. This is not Governor Godwin Obaseki. This is to encourage better participation from parents as the routine immunization intensification program gets underway at the Ego local government area of Edo State Council Secretariat. We want to make sure say, everybody. Every woman went home to care for this state. We must immunize their children. Some other health partners in the immunization program say the positive figures seen so far could yet improve. Why the diseases we vaccinate against have declined, sir? They are yet to disappear completely. Hence, Your Excellency and distinguished guests here present, we must all work together by putting in place all necessary logistics needed at all levels to reach the last child wherever he or she lives with the required vaccine. Some participants in the exercise commend the efforts of the state government in protecting the lives of their children. We, the parents, we, have, we appreciate their efforts, really. Uh, so, the governor coming here today, we appreciate him too, and we pray they continue with us like this. They are trying, by the grace of God, and they should still try more. The Edo State Government says it will ensure that all children in the state from zero to five years get immunized against the major childhood killer diseases. We want to make sure that we scale the minimum, I mean the benchmarks, and in fact exceed the, the national average in terms of immunization. It, it's about supervision, it's about monitoring to ensure that there's con constant follow-up. You just don't immunize and stop. You know, we, so I have, for instance, adopted a local government. I'm going to check monthly, quarterly to see the progress. The high point on the occasion is the award of cash prizes to the three local governments with the highest performance percentage in the immunization exercise. As more reports of yellow fever and cholera are being confirmed in the country and this is making people worried. The federal government and the state governments have been trying their best to contain the spread of these diseases and international organizations such as the WHO have been pitching in. To discuss more on this issue, we are being joined from our Abuja studios by Dr. Mary Stephen, the team lead of the World Health Organization's Health Emergencies Program. Thank you very much for joining us on the program. Thank you, Melinda. Now tell us, what is your organization doing to help to contain this disease? Okay. The World Health Organization is uh, supporting the government, um, both uh, the national and the state level in Borno State to address the challenges with regards to cholera control in, in uh, happening right now in IDP camps. So um, the organization has been supporting uh, the state government in the areas of surveillance, um, case management, laboratory diagnosis, risk communication, and currently also uh, the ongoing uh, cholera, oral cholera vaccine campaign in Borno State. Now, what are the challenges your organization is faced with in carrying out this task? Well, the, the, the main challenge, I think, would be in areas of uh, um, security compromise areas where you have uh, difficulty in accessing those areas. But uh, with the measures that the government has has, has put in place, um, those populations 
uh, have been reached also with the vaccination campaign and I other control measures. You mentioned Bronu State. What about Kwara State? There's a case of yellow fever there. Yes, yeah, so in Kwara State, um, there is one single confirmed case of uh, yellow p fever. Um, currently, the government, the Nigeria Center for Disease Control and the World Health Organization, has deployed a team to the field to do more assessment of the situation and also to do a risk assessment to determine uh, the target population. So, so after the risk assessment, there is going to be a reactive vaccination campaign uh, in, in Kwara State as well. Would the vaccines deployed be enough? Yeah, right, right now um, the Nigerian government has some stock of yellow fever vaccine already in country and we also have the opportunity of applying to the ICG for additional vaccine. But currently, um, as there is assessment, it's, it's ongoing. Uh, the current uh, vaccine stock, both uh, in country and globally, it's, it's going to be enough to address uh, the challenges in Kwara states. Now, Dr. Stephen, tell us, has there been any case of a patient not responding to treatment? So in terms of um, the cholera res response, um, no. Cholera is, is, is a known disease. Um, control measures are also known. So basically, uh, what happens is um, usually early, early dictation of cases. But in most cases, uh, patients that are infected may not pre present with symptoms. And where they present with symptoms, a lot of them present with mild symptoms. And that you can manage with uh, oral rehydration. And in severe cases where you have patients that require um, admission, uh, patients are admitted and mainly because it's a diarrheal disease, uh, dehydrating disease, you admit patients and, and manage by replacing fluid, replacing electrolytes as well. So control measures, especially in terms of treatment for cholera, is well known. And of course, all the patients that are responding, um, that are currently being managed are responding to treatment. So where you have complications, maybe in a situation where the patient is delayed, um, they stayed at home, maybe started doing some measures at home and then came to the hospital at late stage. But as soon as the case is dictated and reported to the hospitals, it's treatable. What about yellow fever? It is said that there is no cure. Okay, so for yellow fever, yellow fever is a viral disease. It is true that um, there is no specific treatment, but mainly also like the cholera, um, uh, the cholera symptoms, yellow fever presents with mild symptoms in most people where you have severe cases. Treatment is usually um, symptomatic, so you treat uh, the, the symptoms that the patient is presenting with. And, and currently the situation we have in Nigeria, the first case that is confirmed, it, it has recovered even completely. So it, it's a mild disease that uh, the patient has presented with and has since uh, recovered and is discharged from the hospital. So treatment, like we said, once you detect early, commence early treatment in terms of addressing the symptoms and then the patient will be fine. So tell us more about these treatments. What are the treatments available? Okay, so, so um, for yellow fever, like I said, it's symptomatic treatment. If the patient is fever, you give antipyretic. If the patient uh, requires fluid, you give fluid. So it, it depends on what kind. If vomiting, you give medicine to address that. So it depends uh, on, on the kind of symptoms that the patient uh, is presenting with. So basically, you treat the, the symptoms that the patient is presenting with. Uh, in case of cholera, you, you, it's usually a dehydrating disease. So the main, main, main treatment is uh, make sh uh, ensuring that you replace the fluid that is being lost. And in terms of uh, electrolyte imbalance where you have severe disease, then you replace the lost electrolyte as well. Then as part of uh, control measures, especially for yellow fever, there is a 
an effective vaccine also that confers lifetime immunity. So it's, the vaccine has been introduced in Nigeria. It's in routine uh, immunization. And it's given to children at the age of nine months. So as soon as one dose is taken, it confers lifetime immunity. So it gives immunity against yellow fever infection in the future. Adults can also take the vaccine, and it provides lifetime immunity. Many thanks. Dr. Mary Stephen is the team lead for the World Health Organization Health Emergencies Program in a in Nigeria and she's been speaking with us from our Abuja studios. And still to come on News Across Nigeria, we'll be going to Adamawa State where the commissioner is concerned about broadband services. More details in a moment. Stay with us.